we understand what the right thing to do is, right? I mean, uh, listening to you talking, you know, you get an idea, but, but it's so difficult to, every, t- every time you see a piece of information, every time you read an article, every time someone says something, for you to be so disciplined, okay, let me take a step back, let me take some notes, let me consider the data they're presenting, mm-hmm. you know, let me do my own research. I mean, yeah. it's very difficult to do that. So what can people do? So it is very difficult, and I think it's getting more and more difficult. I I keep uh, reading articles about it and seeing people uh, older than me confessing the same stuff. That, for example, you know, news twenty years ago were news. It was just somebody very uh, stoically, let's let's say, you know, putting out some facts, and nobody was judging if this is accurate or not. And you know, as time went along, now it's very old. The news uh, are sort of partisan to something or they they have a point to sell or they have you know sponsors that yeah i would say first of all have a look at the chart uh and see if you know it it makes sense because after you see a few example of this or especially after you you go through that book that i that i mentioned you it's in your mind you're always looking okay is the are they trying to manipulate these basic elements first of all in any way that seems unfair and if uh that's the case that would be a first red flag I would be very weary of any type of analysis that includes charts that doesn't specify somewhere the source. Okay. If you're just showing a chart of data and you're not telling us it's based on ONU or any other type of organization or whatever you got the data from, why would you do that, right? So that's another red flag. And uh, try to find uh, different uh, sources that analyze the same thing and see if there's any type of consensus there. Yeah, it is hard. It is hard. I understand on a day-to-day basis, we just we don't have time for this. I think an immediate useful advice would be try at least to vet your sources, right? So maybe you have a couple of uh, agencies, maybe some people you really trust. Uh, there's a few sites that are specifically uh, dedicated towards, you know, doing uh, fair... Fact checking, you know. fact checking and fair and accurate analysis of certain uh, statistic elements. So try to do that and then curate your feed, whatever you're getting this on LinkedIn, on Facebook, whatever, try to, if you're seeing publications that consistently put out stuff that is uh, inaccurate, maybe try to exclude that from the list and keep the the ones that are uh, more fair. And in this way, you make sure somehow that uh, the information that's getting your way is more true. Yeah. Again, very difficult in the narrow fake news. It is, is. but even more than fake news, fake news is, in a way, sort of the extreme example, but yeah. much simpler example. I'm preparing for to run a semi-marathon, and I have this watch, and I'm tracking my mm-hmm. progress, and it measures all kinds of, let's call them KPIs, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and I, I think I have 10, 12, 15 data points it shows me every day and after every run. Uh, and they're not all equally relevant. Mm-hmm. And they're not all equally relevant at the same time in my progress at, at, towards achieving what I want to achieve it can get overwhelming. Even, even this little thing, like you're, you know, you're trying to do some yeah. sports and you're trying to pay attention to all the dashboards it shows you. And if you want to, it, it, it can be overwhelming. Even something as simple as that, which is not lying to you. It's very simple data. Yeah, in yeah, a way, yeah. But you have to pick it. You have to decide what's important to you, I guess, on some, based yeah. on your objective, I guess. Yeah, that would be also so again, the, the cognitive load aspect comes to mind, right? Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's a bit overwhelming, it's too much information. So yeah, what I would do in this particular case is try to figure out what's most important to you and yeah. look at those things. 